Ramble. Today's episode is brought to you by Rosetta Stone. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? It's, it's not that simple. Yes, it is. What <laughs> do you want? God damn it, tell me. What, Family, what, what do you, you want? want? I know what I want. I Woo! want some Rachel McAdams in my <laughs> life. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to McAdams Mania. <laughs> Mania. 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 Oh, it's not going to be May. It's going to be June. June. All right. Oh. This June, we're <laughs> celebrating Pride Month and we're celebrating Rachel McAdams. Yeah. <gasps> I was trying on my drive in to, to encapsulate in my brain what makes Rachel McAdams so wonderful. Mm. Yeah. And I think that she is this gem that we all take for granted. Oh, yeah. yeah. She is one of the most beautiful people that's ever existed. Gorgeous. But yeah. she's got a charm. And she's, she's charming. She's got you, the laugh. She's got the she doesn't smile. Take, yeah, the smile. The, big uh, teeth. This, the same way that, like, Rose Byrne is very funny and a, a very, very talented act, uh, actress and Emily Blunt the same way, I feel like Rachel McAdams you fits in that why? category. Because all of those people you named look like they should be the straight character, the straight yeah. man. And when and so they're, when they're goofy and, like, yeah. being not, like, stereotypically hot, people lose their mind. Yeah. We're talking about The Notebooks today, and she's goofy as hell. She's, she's so goofy as hell in this movie. You know why? Because she was actually falling in love. Yeah. She was falling in love I, I think, I think with Ryan Gosling. Listen, I think Gosling is, this is my my <gasps> my god tier of wow. romantic comedy actors. Your I think god he's, sling? My, my <laughs> god sling. Yeah, I think he's, he's just, it's between him and Ryan Reynolds, but Ryan Reynolds doesn't do as many rom-coms right. anymore mm -hmm. but and Ryan Reynolds got that like smarmy charm whereas Gosling has the quiet smoky he's charm. just straight Ooh. up quirky he's yeah, he's like a little Ryan. weirdo Ryan Reynolds is vodka and Gosling is like an aged barrel whiskey, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and absolutely. both I want in my mouth even though I'm sober I'd take them both <laughs> Uh, we're talking about The Notebook today, which if you haven't seen, my goodness, wow. fuck out of what here. are you yeah. doing? Get out of here. It holds the fuck up. You have the summer romance between Noah and Allie. They're young. They're, mm. her they're hormonal. They're in love. She comes from a rich family. He's just broke as fuck. A, a he poor makes boy. 40 cents an hour. Wow. <laughs> this also does take place in the South, back in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, 40s, baby. Is that what it is? That's the 40s. Okay. Yeah. And you have this long uh, years in the making romance between the two of them mm. where they have the summer fling. Their, her parents rip them away. He writes her letters. They get lost. They, she yeah, gets her mom steals mom that. Steals I know. Yeah. She gets engaged to someone else. They rekindle the romance, and then they have to ask themselves, is this for reals or not? Along the way, you have an elderly woman with clearly signs of dementia um, being read a story by a very kind old man. Oh, grandpa man. And we are left to ask the question, <laughs> I wonder if this connects at all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah. this story within a story? And Ooh. a twist that you'll never see coming. <laughs> My God, but with the first time you saw it, bitch. I, the first time I was like, I'm 13 and I still know I what's know coming. What <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, this is them when they're old. Cool. <laughs> Immediately. So where do we want to begin with the pleasures? I actually, you know, here's what I where I do want to begin because this is this was the 2000s romantic movie, and it, Still, like, and it, the most romantic movie of all time. I want to know you as a young woman watching this movie because Maggie told me last night she's like, this movie changed the game. It changed. It changed lives. Every changed life. yeah, like I don't know. I'm really curious to hear about the male perspective, but yeah. for young girls. This movie came out at the peak of my hormonal <laughs> desires. Like, it was the first time I heard... They're supposed to be 17 in, in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. It was the first time I heard a guy call a girl baby, and, like, Ooh. I didn't cringe. Like, he was like, come on, baby. Like, I love you, baby. And I was like... <gasps> yeah. Um, this is what a fucking man... Yeah. He's a man. And she portrays falling in love the most... It. This is the problem... This is the movie that set out for unrealistic expectations <laughs> yeah. for girls because all the women saw this movie and went, oh, this is what's supposed to happen. Yeah. No guy my age saw this. No one realized this motherfucker gave you a playbook. You treat her well. You call her baby. You kiss her on the Ferris wheel. You build a house for her casually. You go off to war thinking about her. Like, we gave you all the steps on how to whoa. find... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Roman. The, the no, 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 no. We cannot use this man as a playbook because, for one, I am not going to say, "Hey, if you don't go out with me, I will kill myself." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know what's wild about this movie too is that there's so many. Like they have negative traits that they portray, right? Like he he literally like harasses her into accepting a date. They fight like crazy and hit each other. If oh, Ryan Gosling I'm, I'm, was ugly, would this have happened? It wouldn't work. It wouldn't no. work. They're so <laughs> overly yeah. hormonal and like making out in a way that with any other pairing would be gross. But, but the I triumph would. of these performances. Yeah. All that's works. The true yeah. and like that's when I go back to like they really dated from this movie. I, w I couldn't remember if if that yes. was a false and memory. Everyone of mine. Okay. remembers the iconic MTV kiss where they won for best it's kiss and so they separated. started on okay. the other okay. side. For those who don't know and don't remember, can you can you pause paint right it? now and I go wanna... watch this on YouTube? No, Kelsey, they were tell up me. for best kiss oh, in so MTV good. movie awards, oh, it's so good. which were our Oscars growing up, guys. <laughs> They best had, kiss is more important than best picture. Yeah. They won, yeah, so they absolutely. both go up on stage, but they en they enter through separate staircases. She he goes to one end, she goes to the other. He rolls up his fucking sleeves. <laughs> she pulls up her. Rainy, have, do you not know what I'm talking about? No. You look so like the. I just looked over at Rainy, and she was like holding her breath. Yeah. Keep going, she, Kelsey. Keep she going. pulls up her halter top. She's wearing she's wearing heels and jeans and she kicks off her shoes mm -hmm. and you're everyone's screaming in the audience. Everyone is screaming. And they're making and you wait and they're enjoying it. He's chewing every a little moment. piece of gum and he looks at her and he gives her the fucking finger. Wiggle wiggle. He, he goes, "Come here." And she fucking, I have chills. She <laughs> runs across the stage. He runs. She jumps up into his arms. He catches her. And she's like very high up in his in his grip. And he mm -hmm. slowly brings her down. And she slowly melts down into him. And they recreate the kiss. And the crowd is going fucking wild. Yold rainy. <laughs> I am breathless. Yeah. I literally got chills. Did you see that? that was I am, a I, can Sorry, we take a minute? Can we just, I mean, when I tell you, I jerked off to this movie. Oh my God. 700 times. You girls times. say jerked off? All the time. Kelsey does. I do. Okay, Kelsey does. Right, we, we just watched Fifty Shades of Grey, and yeah, this movie this way is so hotter. Because you get the emotional I'm connection. I'm sorry to cut you off. I just totally just stole your moment. We're in it, it's, though. Yeah, it was way hotter. That's it how was... hot it is, is that you interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I want to hear from the male perspective what this movie meant to you guys. Um, Nothing. Had you ever seen it? Uh, yeah, I've seen it. Okay, but it How, meant, why did you see it? It meant nothing at all because a girl took me uh -huh. to, to to go see this movie. Uh -huh. Um, it meant absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> but but I will say, undeniably, this is a perfect movie. Uh. <laughs> it does everything you need. I I was I did not see it in theaters. And I refused to see it because uh, it was like, I'm not going to see that trite, like, sh schmaltzy shit. Yeah. And everyone was, ev I mean, everyone was losing their minds Truly about everybody. it. And I was, like, contrarian. And then finally one day I saw it and I was like, oh, yo, that's pretty good. That's a good movie. Did it's you guys good. cry the first time you saw it? No. I, I think I um, I got a little emotional uh, just watching um, the scene where she forgets. <gasps> yeah, um, and she, you know, she comes back and then she forgets. That was like pretty bad. I don't, I don't like seeing old people in turmoil. Yeah, I don't think so that I cried watch. the first time I saw it because everyone was like, "Oh," and there's this twist, and you'll never see it coming. And I'm like, "You're just all yeah, stupid." Yeah, yeah. But today, I cried like multiple times. Zach yeah. saw me. I walked in and I immediately like went for a tissue and was like just still wiping my eyes. Oh. I had come from the car watching the end of it and like my eyelash was falling off. But it's not even the end that gets me. Yeah. It's the entire journey of love. Like being ripped apart from each other. Yeah. That that pain of seven fucking years of the one that got away and when they reunite and then they have that turmoil again of like are we gonna do this are we gonna fucking throw away both of our lives i mean he didn't have much one much of one left i mean he did <sighs> he i mean he he had a fucking house by the the ocean by the river but he built it to live in with her yeah she was never there he, every yeah, day yeah, I'm ate, saying in, ate dinner where he lost his virginity to her yeah. like mm -hmm. He's and lips you know, stuck in the past. Poor Martha. Yeah. She really was the one. Martha deserved better. Martha deserved better. Yeah. Was Martha his friend's wife? Or no. it was just a different It was just a different Okay, 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 okay. To cool the sting of loneliness. Yeah, she said she left uh since uh, Richard passed. She was a widow, but she yeah, was it wasn't widow. Kevin Connolly. Okay, cool, cool. Let's should we uh should we launch into the, the first act of this movie? We yeah. begin when they're 17 years yeah. old and 
I mean, first of all, we meet both of them, and they're just so beautiful. They're adorable. So cute. Baby Gosling, yeah. Baby McAdams. Yeah. Baby face. No one has he, ever had more swag than Baby Gosling. Yeah. He comes out the gate like... Like, like dripping. I, like, <laughs> no one at 17 would just walk up to a girl and be like, you want to dance with me? Yeah. While the, she's with another man. That's the first line yeah. that he says to her. He walks right up to her face and says, want to dance with me? And he's wearing the stupidest hat you've ever seen. He's wearing the and stupidest he's outfit. It off. Yeah, it's Page boy. the dumbest of outfit I've ever seen in my life. But it he literally looks like a railroad railroad worker. He that was. is hard to say. <laughs> um, and yeah, he he does pull it off. He he he. I mean, he said, "When I see something I want, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go I get gotta it. Gotta have it. I like it. Yeah, they and just, love makes you do crazy things." It, Garrick alluded to it earlier. He he climbs up a Ferris wheel, yeah. and then when she won't go out with him, he hangs on like the the railing from it and yep. lets go of one hand and says, "Please go out with me." I'm say you yeah. want to go out with me. I want to go out with you. It's all such right, a like a, right. a, Jeez, a, 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 a darling. Dumb Riz yes. that I have, like one of the dumbest ones that you you do. Yeah, but I, it, <laughs> the fact like that Riz. it worked is um, uh, abusive. In my so here's eyes. how I justify that. Yeah, he does this all the time. He helped build that that machine, and the the guy who runs the Ferris wheels, his buddy, and they do that shit all the time for yeah, fun. So it wasn't too. really dangerous. Yeah, he knew. He wanted her to believe it though. Yeah. It, it is like everything in this movie, and I, you're going to hear me say it a lot is just a triumph of performance mm -hmm. and yeah. is just a testament to how good they are and how electric their chemistry is. Yeah. Because Guy sees girl. She's laughing in bumper cars. You're like, wow, she looks so fun. She's not just beautiful. She's fun. She's excitable. She's outgoing. She's she interesting. Yeah. And he is, a, I think what makes him work as a love interest, one, it's Ryan fucking it's Ryan Gosling. Gosling. But he knows what he wants and he goes after it. Yeah. And he has a singular one. All that this character does throughout the entire movie is he wants just even five more minutes yeah. with her. Mm. Yeah. That's his mm. entire driving force. Yeah. There's nothing else to him except for the singular pursuit of Rachel McAdams. He, uh. He's the John Wick of love characters. God damn it, I still haven't seen this. Yeah, it's just like, I want the singular one. I want to kill this person that killed my dog. It's the great. guy that I'm sleeping with right now, yep. uh, every Darryl. January, Daryl? Yes, <laughs> you know, Daryl. Yeah. Uh, has a thing called January where he watches all the John Wick's movies. I Love think that, that you should marry him. Okay. First of all, we know so know. many problematic statements yeah. made in your lifetime. That was one of them. Okay. Um, but I'm going to watch them. Yeah. Hell okay, yeah. great. Um, but you're so right because what did all teenage girls in like early 20s want? They just yeah. wanted a guy who all they fucking cared He's not looking at any other bitch. He's literally thinking of you while he's fucking another girl. Yeah. All a girl wanted was someone to be as healthily obsessed with you as much as he did. He doesn't play Allie. video games. He's not interested in sports. He wants he to doesn't build you a fucking chair. All he wants to do is build you a home. Build you a home. That's with, all he wants. With blue shutters and a red door. Yeah. And then I have a lot of theories about Rachel McAdams. I'm going to, I'll continue to return to them of what makes her so good. Yeah. But a lot of it is her laugh. Because Ugh. they do crazy shit in this movie. Mm -hmm. they, they lay in the, in middle, the middle of, of the traffic, street. Yeah. right? And a well, car, it's uh, the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, middle of the night. They lay in the middle of the street uh, watching the red light turn to green light. Super romantic. And a car comes by and it honks at them. And she runs away screaming and then she laughs. Yeah. And you go, damn, she's cool. And anytime he does something that may make her mad, she laughs. Yeah. Can I tell you what a, a, an a unhealthy pattern I noticed with them was? Mm. Anytime they do something dangerous, she gets horny as fuck. <laughs> Speak on that. Like the traffic thing. Then yeah. she's like, I'm going to date this man. That was a thrill. Then when well, they're... Fucking on the second floor of an old rickety house. Sure. Yeah. She's like, I'm wet as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Then the, it's it's the game of like, we shouldn't, but okay, we will. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it, it definitely feels like a rebellious thing. And okay. So let's just, um, I, I just want to put this out there. This 100% feels like a story between a, um, a lady of the house and a black worker. Oh. <gasps> 
I felt that too while yeah. watching it. So it, I, I, yeah, you it, shouldn't, but we do. It's so forbidden. There's the forbidden love, and it takes place in the South. There's also a weird undercurrent where the only black characters in the movie are or like help. helpers. Yeah, even when they're older at the hospital, they're servants. Yeah. But it definitely has this feeling of like sleeping. Yeah, sleeping yeah, with yeah, one yeah. of the workers and like the old plantation owners, yeah. like no oh, daughter of mine. They're, they're he's, building. He a, he's a building a plantation. He bought yeah. a plantation. The house on the on the river is a plantation. It just it 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 had that energy. forbidden love mm -hmm. type of energy, and, the and family I was just like, is like, you will stop it. Yeah, you can't right. make me love his love. Yeah, it's just like I get what you're doing. Blah blah mm -hmm. blah. It makes or me I wonder if any iteration of the the story, the book, the Nicholas yeah. Sparks book, right. was that, and they changed it. I, I, I maybe ooh. it has that feeling. It I, has that feeling. It has that energy, and I don't. I mean, I mean, it could just be the forbidden aspect of it, and I think that you could play that Romeo and Juliet story um, with a lot of different. Uh, racial dynamics mm. or dynamics in general, but they that's like, the one I saw. We don't want to make stakes that high. Nicholas Sparkles was like, I can't, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. represent you have that. A whole thing to, <laughs> to explain. Um, I mean, it's 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 basically the same story as in um, Holes. <laughs> um, uh, do you remember Holes? In Holes? Like with Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, with Shia LaBeouf, the book. What about anyway. this? Oh, okay, you're so talking about the romance, with honey. the story within the story. the story. Oh, the story. oh, oh, oh. Um, uh, there was an old outlaw I forget I forget her name people are gonna like murder me for for not remembering her name but she had a um there was a, a black worker that uh she liked and um was killed and then Good fucking story yeah, yeah. Gotta do holes yeah let's do holes, holes is so fucking holes rocks why do I want to learn a new language because I want to keep my brain sharp and it helps you connect with people wherever you go Rosetta Stone is the expert in language learning for 30 years and an award-winning app where you can learn anytime, anywhere. They've got 25 languages. If you can dream it, they got it. Korean and Chinese, yup. Spanish, French, Italian, German, and more. And I love that it prepares you for real life. This is going to go beyond just vocab. You're going to focus on speaking practice, pronunciation with their true accent feature, and more. They do it in bite-sized pieces, so you can learn and make real progress in as little as 10 minutes. You only got a little bit of time, that's fine. Chip away at it. And best of all, no tedious memorization needed. This is immersive, intuitive learning. For a limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's Lifetime Unlimited subscription, which gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever for 40% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash guilty today. Rosetta Stone, how language is learned. Anyway. anyway. Their, their chemistry from the get-go. Yeah. I mean, look, classic movie 101, guy sees girl, we the audience want them to kiss, but it's really hard to have them kiss and us to still then be pining for it again and again. Yeah. But even the first time they're walking, they're, they're, they're walking at night and one of them says a line and the actors do this thing that I have to imagine was them and not mm -hmm. the direction. It certainly wasn't written where they both kind of lean into each other as if they're going to kiss. They lean into each other and then pop away and go separate mm -hmm. directions. Yeah. And then he lays down. It's yeah. just these little details that make me crazy for them. Yeah. yeah. I think, okay, so Kelsey touched on it a little bit. I think the 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 close violence of Ooh. their chemistry mm -hmm. is what really gets me. Like there's that one moment where they're breaking up oh. and he starts, she like goes in the slap and then he starts slapping himself. Yup. Yeah. There's like a sharpness to all of their emotions and their actions or whatever, but it feels like choreography that you just watch in like like dancing choreo, yes. where it's just like if this person isn't popping hella sharp, then it's not as good, mm. you know. And that's what I feel like their dances or He's their like, their you, chemistry is. Or, you can't hurt me as much as I'm about to hurt myself. Yeah. I'm doing this for the be the greater good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there is a guilt here in that their relationship, like. They just know how to make each other come. That yeah. is the, yeah. the crux of their relationship yeah. because he says this line like 99% of the time you're a pain in the ass. That's a bad relationship. That's not <laughs> but I did like the the one thing that I did go on was that back in that time, people got married that didn't even like each other for right. status and power. Ooh, right. I just said status, like an old like girl. Like an old, I'm sorry. like a southern Yeah, belle. I'm sorry. Who are ew, you? Ew, ew, ew. It's because of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a part where she's arguing with her parents after the mom's like, you got to yep. stop seeing him where she's like, you don't love daddy like I love Noah. You guys don't laugh. You don't kiss. You, you don't, don't touch. You him. don't play yeah. the way yeah. Noah and I do. And I went, he 
you know what? That's good enough for me. I just want I want someone that I can laugh and touch and play with for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Yeah. That sounds great. Nice. And it's it's kind of sad because she had that with James Marsden. <laughs> can we <laughs> talk about our boy? Yeah. James, James Marsden, who's having a bit of a moment. Yes, that was I mean, gonna be I mean, my guilty we'll pleasure. Talk, or that was my pleasure. Be my for pleasure later. As no well. way. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about, talk about it. That will tell James me. Marsden is not the actor you've seen in anything else. Like, you know him from the things that you've seen today. I fucking forgot that this was James Marston. What are we talking about? You know him from X-Men. You know him from Enchanted. Yeah, Dude's gotcha. got hits. No. Yeah, Sonic. but this He's in the version Don't of make him. me do Marsden Mania. I will do. I will. Yeah. I will pull it out. James Marsden is, I'd, I'd is, is secretly every time you see him, I was like, "Oh, this movie is going to be a banger." Yeah, but or this performance is going to be a banger. In all of those, he plays like the mid fuckable guy. Sure. This movie, this this movie had had me going. Maybe I would pick him over Gosling. No, which I is think saying that something. you needed to. He I, plays I, a soldier who yeah. asks her out when he's in a full body cast yeah. in the in the soldier hospital. Comes back when he's healed. Shows up with some Nazi ass looking car, <laughs> but he is dressed in his best. What are they called? His his dressed to the nines, not the or, civilian uh, his outfit. Dre dress uniform. Yeah, and he he looks uh, boing. Yeah, tan, gel hair. You can tell when a white man is tan. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> I can't. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> What do you mean when a white man is tan? I just can't. <laughs> like I just, it's just like, oh, you're lighter than me. So he, okay, well, he looked very <laughs> glowy. He looked, he looked sun kissed. <laughs> okay, and right. then he plays the most perfect version of a man. He gives her yeah. everything she needs. Yep. He's got stability. He's got love and obsession for her the same way Noah did. Yep. He's got money. He's got adoration for the family. Like. He really is the perfect guy. Yeah, she made the wrong choice. Yeah. She made the wrong choice. If we're being honest and yeah. real, like... And even, she loved him. Yeah, it's just like you just got to really get over... If they didn't have the older um, couple, uh, like like yes. seeing that the fact that they did grow old together and have a f happy life yeah, for right. the rest of their life yeah. and a, a family, you would think, oh, well... She's gonna leave him for the. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's gonna regret that decision her entire life because mm -hmm. that's insane. And um, I, I, what I really appreciated is that this movie could have made James Marsden a more stereotypical villain. Yeah, he, they could have had him drinking yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah, or like when he finds out about he Gosling. starts hitting some yeah. people, the walls breaking or whatever, shit. breaking shit. They yeah. never succumb to that. No, he says, Which "I want real. you to be happy." He, it's more real. Like that's something so beautifully defeating too of like this guy being like she loves me i'm perfect there's just someone better than there's me. there's someone that she f that found her first Ugh. it's just it's just is I what it second. is you you just gotta be there, first right? sometimes there, there is one thing that james marsden was missing mm. and that is after gosling and mcadams have sex again she goes all this time, this is what I've, I've been, been missing. missing. Yeah. My boy got the hammer. He got God the hammer. Damn it, you're he right. got a fucking hammer. Do you I'm... think they had sex though? What? Marston and McAdams? Maybe oh, she was like saving herself for marriage. McAdams ain't waiting for nothing. <laughs> I don't know. In my mind, I like she... I would rather think that Marston just didn't get to boinker yet okay, rather so than he I, can't throw I'm sorry. McAdams is a fucking energizer bunny in this movie. Yeah. She puts... She's a she, Leo. She sure kind of like holds a candle to you. <gasps> she is ready That's the to go. Thing. Yeah, She's I horny. Was, I was thinking that the first time that they laid down or laid with one another, they didn't start. Yeah. And she's been a virgin this entire time. See, I That's thought that my too. theory. Because you wonder, did he put it in? Yeah. Yeah. That is my theory. I did. And I then was looking she, out. And for that's that where I was like, I was listening to that line. I'm like, why would she say that? Um, huh. If anything, they didn't have sex on the floor. They definitely did it because they did. Because she's like, that's nothing. what I've been missing this whole time. It's just like, but oh, also, she didn't like, know. even if you put it in a little, they weren't having sex. No. I, they got interrupted. Yeah, I yeah, assume yeah. that they have sex. Yeah. Yeah. I do love that scene though. That when they are intending to lose their virginity, whether you read it as they yeah. slept together or not, they're standing across from each other and just slowly <laughs> take off each yeah. other, like their that clothes themselves. That's great. It's really sweet. I like. I it. Did it was too. like the uh, so risky awkward. business scene. <laughs> 
<laughs> of him sliding into the, oh, into yeah. the frame. I don't know why, but it just the the, the framing of it. My one deal with me. this movie is how long the boxers were back then. For me, oh my god, <laughs> that, those things are like high water. Yeah, his 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 entire the entire silhouette of all of his outfits were Has were been... <gasps> fucking making me so furious. But can <laughs> we just pleasure? Costuming in this movie, I yeah. loved it. Her, her Rachel shit was great. McAdams, her shit was gave fantastic. us iconic. The, the outfit she wore when she f- first came back with to the, the house. red, yeah, the red was awesome. And then we get the blue. Which I like the blue. With everybody the knows her wedding dress. Yeah, was gorgeous. Yeah, she was fitted. Her soaked in the rain. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my yeah, god. yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the 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 geese scene. Uh, can we do? I thought that Marsden had some swaggy ass fashion. Oh yeah. yeah, there? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, no, we're on the sure. same page. They're the and then city they, kids. That's how I. That's how I know that like it's just costume designers getting off, or just like mm-hmm. he has to look like dog shit most of the time. Yeah. Uh, Gosling has to look like dog shit just Four. to show that he is impoverished, but he's good with his hands, so he can fucking oh, build yeah, an entire is. house. Okay, we've like talked about it now multiple times, but so. They're rowing out into yeah. the water. Uh, yeah. It starts raining. And again, she giggles. Yeah. She laughs. He laughs. But she giggles because she sees that he's fine with it. Yeah. And yeah. that's what, like, I think that's a through line throughout their entire relationship. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. Which uh, is very if you're nice. a bird, I'm a bird. The you're original, bird. would you love me if I was a worm? Okay, wait, actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to put a pin in the rain scene because... With the, if you're a bird, I'm a bird, another bit of McAdams' triumph in this yeah. movie, she's a fucking weirdo. She's a weirdo. She, okay, I'm so glad you brought she's this not up. Even, it, and it's not like the pixie dream girl no. or whatever. It's it's just like, oh, you're you're fucking weird. Yeah. Every you're a, girl wants a guy mm-hmm. that from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. <laughs> she can get... No feely poo poo time because it's just life and hormones get get down. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then at six p.m. you get the fucking zoomies. <laughs> you get weird as shit mm-hmm. before the sun goes down. Okay, and you're dancing, you're making weird noises, your energy's back for a little bit. Every girl just wants a guy that can fucking hang during the zoomies. Rachel McAdams has the zoomies. Yeah, the, the entire zoomies. movie. She's splashing around in the water and yeah. going. Oh. Do you think in another life I could have been a bird? Oh. <laughs> and he's like, heard. He's and like, Ryan's no. like, Gosling's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> he's, he's a, I guess. No, it's whatever, you crazy nut. <laughs> I'm a bird. Oh my god. <laughs> She's got That's the, the key to making women happy. You just want someone that can be <laughs> fucking weird with. Wow. You gotta chase. You're the... thinking about it. Every one of you is thinking I, yeah, about I'm the thinking weird about thing it. your girl does. Yeah, it's which six. is in her silly then goofy mood. This is revelatory. I'm telling yeah. you. There's just something about that hour where, and it's usually we start walking around, we start pacing weirdly. Yeah, we start pacing and doing stuff, and then we start talking in like a weird accent all of a sudden, <laughs> and then we're just off to the races and match our energy. That's all we want. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. That line shouldn't be so romantic, but it <sighs> it's so because is because he fucking he he doesn't act that line. He talks it to her. Mm. <sighs> if you're a bird, I'm a bird. I Bitch! feel like. I, I definitely want to know how many lines were um, were just riffed or I, well, lines. it was a Nicholas Sparks book. I have to imagine that that was in there, and it, but it is interesting because everything feels iconic to me. Everything, everything they yeah. say, even when they're standing in the street, and she goes, "You're a terrible singer, but I love this song." I'm like, "Fuck!" Yeah, that's good. How is every line you yeah. say just like iconic? A quote. Like yeah, say it Pinterest in my quote. bows. Yeah, I told you. Unrealistic expectations. It's Nicholas for love. Sparks. Yeah. Yeah. When he Which, hits, he hits. He's done other films. Nothing like this. What Dear John was one, right? With uh-huh. Channing Tatum. Yeah. Which that is a good example of like, I think it really is the acting, mm. the chemistry. Because that movie was romantic as fuck, had all the elements we needed. It was like a, supposed to be a modern day notebook in terms of popularity. You don't have McAdams and Goose. And you don't yeah. have the Goose and McAdams. Goose. Juice. We should start calling it instead of the goat, the Goose. Goose. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're back in the rain scene. She's come back. She, she's engaged. She's getting yeah. married. Demanding she moved woman. on. Gosling wrote letter 365 letters every day for a year. McAdam's mom stole them. Seven years later, she's moved on with her life. She yeah. sees a photo in the paper and says, I got to go down south. That fainting scene. The fact that she fainted upon seeing him again. The mom goes, oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. 
They all knew. And yeah. the moment she fainted, she knew she was going to go fuck him. Yeah. Because she gets to town. That's And Gosling's got a beard. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we get beard, to though. see Dirty Gosling version. Yeah. And he makes Dirty look good. The, the iterations of age in this. Yeah. It's great. I I didn't know that makeup could age you that much. Mm -hmm. The same way that a beard could age you that much. Um, cause he looks like he stunk. Years. He looked like he stunk. He made he me like want to smell be smellier. Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, he made but I me... also was like, oh, shit, this is um, a, a Skarsgård in fucking Succession. This mm. is this is the same character, just fucking building houses rather than being a tech bro. <laughs> I don't see the correlation, but I support you. You don't see, like, when he was on the roof, like, just doing weird and dumb stuff, no. you didn't see that he looked like Alexander Skarsgård? No. Okay. Wait, so then the Okay, so the they're moment. in the rain. They're, they're in, in the, the rowboat. Rain. They're in the rowboat. She she comes out and she Why finally says it. Didn't you write me? No, this is after the robot. Yeah, they got yeah, out. They get out. Okay, gotcha. Why didn't you write me? It's pouring rain. I wrote you every day for a year. You I wrote, wrote you every me? day for a year. And she says it wasn't over. It wasn't over and then. And he comes up and, now and it's says it's too late. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Yeah. And he the, grabs her. Okay, but we need to <laughs> We need to acknowledge Take all the time you need. Kelsey. Yeah, I'm not yeah. well. Yeah. The moment he says, it's still not over. You remember how we've been saying everything he says is like a Pinterest moment? Yeah. Even Rachel McAdams herself was like, because <gasps> she goes, <gasps> like she's shocked to hear it. And yeah. the open mouth kiss. She is so shocked. He fucking, uh, It's just the smushing. He fucking connects open mouthed with her. Like she wasn't going to kiss. She was gasping. She was and he said, this gasping. is my open mouth moment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I'm what in there. proceeds to happen? They are, These are just people falling for each other. We're watching two human beings, not actors falling for each other. I think what follows is not just one of the sexiest sequences put to film. Yeah. Sexier yeah. than anything that we've ever covered on this show. Sexier yeah. than the entirety of Fifty Shades. Surely. Sexier than... Twilight. I, all yeah. of them. Yeah. I think that it might be, and I, I really mean this, the most single effective sex scene that I've ever seen in yeah. a movie. Yeah, it's like uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino, I believe, said, I don't understand why sex scenes are in movies at all. They don't push the story forward. This is the only oh, one that does. This one, do and that yeah. is exactly it. Yeah. It advances yeah. the plot. It advances the plot. And the way, so first of all. That's what we've been waiting for this whole time, <sighs> yeah. is to find out if, there, if his dick is the key to her pussy. Yeah, and just, in that moment, he unlocks well, I mean, as funny as that is, I, I agree. It, I totally been, agree. This is what the waiting, the anticipation, yeah. the build. This is, this is seven years of ah. built-up anticipation. He carries her. She <gasps> jumps into his arms. He carries her through the rain up the stairs and then and it's fast and it's intense He's he lays her down ripping off her clothes along and the way and then you get the sensual slow peeling off of the stockings i'm mm. sorry guys but we're all turned on right now yeah when he th when she throws her shirt down when he's carrying her up the stairs and you just hear that <laughs> it's, it's like a splash of, oh, a, a, of that wet was my clothing <laughs> just drip i mean and i i splooshed everywhere you get a, the when they come around the corner, you get the tiniest Rachel McAdams nipple. Yeah, well, this is worth noting. You get to see a little little McAdams boobage. And really? then, like Huge. you said, <laughs> he see, lays what? her down. Wait, you what? miss it? What? You get you get titty. No, this yeah, movie got a little it. bit of. Randy, little... have you watched this movie? Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, just making sure because <laughs> I'm looking over at you and you look like dumbfounded. <laughs> You're like, well, I'm just like literally swept up and I'm just exactly. Like, oh. See, that's yeah, how powerful this film is. You could just talk about it. What's, I, the, what's what? the time stamp? <laughs> I was watching you know, this movie amazing. last night, and I it, when the stockings oh. happen, I literally went, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh. There's nothing hotter than when you're hooking up with someone new, and they stop to look you in the eye, uh. not to kiss, not to like do diddle your dudes. When they stop you to do something and they stare you dead in the eye, but you could flip an omelet in that moment and I would still be coming. <laughs> There's nothing hotter than a pause. Flipping? Wait, I'm sorry. I I'm don't know either. <laughs> Bitch, when you a person stops in Wait, the no, middle no, no, of hooking no, 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 up. No, 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 I understand the, the looking in the eye. What is the flipping of the omelet? My <laughs> what point is, is, that? is you could be doing anything. Okay. But if you're looking me in the fucking eye, 
and you're eye fucking me, you could you could you could do anything you want. You could pot a plant, help an old lady across the street. But when you're looking at me in the eye and you pause in the heat of the moment like that, flip, make a baby, flip an omelet. That's I mean I I'm just I'm just you reeling at the fact that, 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 that that's what you went for. It's just like you could flip an omelet at that point. I was like, 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 sure. She goes down south Ooh. after trying on her wedding dress to have a nonstop fuck fest. Yeah, they're both cheating on their partners. Yeah, hell yeah. And again, the triumph of the writing, but I think it's the performance. We. Not a Nobody single cares. at no point did I feel like they were they, in the wrong. They weren't they weren't yours to begin with. Damn. Is what it, what it always comes down to. It's it. because they're the true relationship. Yeah. And it honestly felt like when she's with James Marsden, she's cheating. She's cheating on, on, on Noah. On Noah. We with, all were yeah. shocked, but we all got it. Yeah. Because that was the only way they were gonna get it, is if yeah. he was a perfect guy. Yeah. He couldn't have been any type of a villain. You're so right. Yeah. Because also Ryan Gosling's character, when he sees them together, he was just like, well, I guess I have nothing left but the house. I'm just going to go build this house for this person and then hope that she sees it. He didn't give, he could have, I mean, usually if, if we're looking at his character choices, usually he would have just ran in there and been like, hey, what's going on? What the fuck happened? Blah, blah, blah. He's just like, no, I'm just going to go back into my, my place of seclusion mm. and just build this house. Gosling is such a master of subtle acting. Yeah. And that, it, like, a great actor does as little as possible and you feel it. Yeah. I, I think about, I, I really hate the movie La La Land, but his little smile at the end of it mm -hmm. is the so, nod. there's I all think this it's, heartbreak. It's, that's burned in my memory. Of course it is. And in this movie, he has that moment. I mean, he has a ton of them. He has when he sees Mick Adams and Marsden mm -hmm. together. But oh. I'm thinking of when he finds out that she's going to Sarah Lawrence and that Sarah Lawrence is in New York, you just see his face drop a little yeah mm. and there's so much communicated with so little mm. yeah. and it's something that few actors can accomplish pull yeah. off the way that he can yeah because he's in love with rachel mcadams exactly because he's like oh what if i think he just believes all of these scenarios it's true yeah. it's true for him and one of my favorite moments of gosling happens shortly after what we just talked about with the sex there's a moment that i was like <laughs> this is the best this is the I I couldn't root for them more, and then he does something. I know, I know it. He does something yeah. where he joins her silly little goofiness. They're laying in bed the next morning, and she wants to make him breakfast. And he said, "She says, what do you want? Do you want?" And he says, "I want some eggs and some bacon." <laughs> and he says it with this goofy ass little silly voice. And that's him being vulnerable for the first time in seven fucking years. He hasn't been able to feel that since he was a teenage boy. And he feels comfortable enough to be a little silly, goofy, zoomy with her in the morning. And I said, take my soul. <laughs> and then how about she, he wakes up early. He surprises her with a whole paint set and arrows to go say, yeah. hey, I built a whole room for you to pursue your passions because yeah. you should still have your individual, your yeah. individuality Absolutely and the me. things that fulfill your soul. Yeah, did, did well. he paint those on the floor or were they cutouts? Seemed like cutouts to me, but okay, hilarious God. if he painted them. I, I would, I like, I was like, dog, you're ruining your floors. You worked so hard <laughs> No on way Goose floors. is ruining his hardwood. Yeah, no way, no way. Yeah. Um, so here's my secondary theory of what makes Rachel McAdams' performance so excellent in this. And I, I know you're all going to go back and watch the movie again after this episode. Because yeah, of course you are. I want you to pay attention. She is scampering the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> she runs. I think that's what. Constantly. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it gives her this like infectious childlike energy where she feels like a kid on Christmas morning. Yeah. And it makes you believe their love because she is so filled giddy. with glee yeah. and giddy. She's giddy. And she wraps herself up in blankets and she runs down the hall. She's running throughout. She's running in this movie more than Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible. Yeah. It makes it so fucking believable though because then that is a sign that I also go, when I think of my best moments in relationships, I'm tiptoe gig giggity giggity. I'm having a giggity giggity with the person. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know, like, there's a universal speak of what falling in love feels like or what standing in love feels like. And it's that. It's tiptoey giggling shit. Tiptoey giggling shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think that they don't let each other finish 
sentences no. for the most part. They like there this is podcast. this like overlap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is a lot of overlap. There is a lot of like just. Uh, it, when, especially in that scene where he's like, "What do you want?" and all that, they're Ugh. talking over each other the whole time. And she's like, "It's not that simple." What? what, what could you just shut the fuck up and just talk to me? Or blah blah blah. Like That's people real. do in real conversations. And I think that this is, you know, a, a, again a triumph of directing your actors, mm. um, a triumph of just letting them do and bring whatever they can to the scenes. Who directed this? Nick Cassavetes. Oh. What is what has he done? I'll look okay. it up. Okay, cool. Uh it's oh God, I, I'm just thinking like, what do you think their first real kiss was? Do you think they kissed first in the movie or or um, in real life? I don't know. I'm just I, I wanna know. Uh, I wanna He did Alpha Dog, which I love. Oh shit. Alpha he Dog did fucked me up. <laughs> John Q. Alpha Dog fucked me up. I Q fucked me up. We should do Alpha John Dog. Dog. Alpha John Dog. John Q. John Dog. John Dog. John Q is one of my favorite TV movies. He did. Like, it She's wasn't a so made lovely. for TV, but I watched it on yeah. HBO all the, the time. The Other yeah. Woman, Eddie and Martin Life, and that's about the big ones he did. Yeah. This was his big one, I think. I mean, this is as big as it gets. Yeah. We should probably circle back to the, the old age story. Yeah. So we see a woman uh with she has no memory unclear if it's dementia alzheimer's um it said dementia they said dementia. the doctor okay. did yeah. okay um and there's an old man who is reading her story uh we if you are film literate you will very quickly realize that this is an old noah and Allie. yeah if not it will be a very exciting midpoint reveal yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i guess how did they get that one girl that looked exactly like rachel mcadams to play her daughter her daughter oh my god it was perfect i casting. was like that's gotta be rachel mcadams's real cousin or some shit because yeah, you don't get like those teeth blah, blah, blah. and the, that face is not something you come by often do you think they the old people look like them because i don't think no, it looked no. like ryan gosling no. at all no no even even when he was looking through the photos of her, uh, of them a little older, I was like, I was like yeah, those, are different, those are different people. Straight up different people. To the point where I was like, oh, are we seeing a... Um, like a, a dramatization. A, a dramatization <laughs> of their love, and this is what they actually look like. Sure, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Because yeah. they introduce him in the very beginning under a different name as to not confuse her. And they say a lot of things to not give her any clues that she's who she is yeah. to like also steer away because they introduce him as like Bruce or something random so that she she doesn't have to hear the name Noah because it's probably a trigger for her yeah. then like when she's like children he's like his children right it's like okay and then the piano it's like why don't you play the piano you love to play yeah. it's like they give all these things that you as the audience is not going oh fuck this is Allie they're right. trying to give a little misdirect yeah they, they keep telling no older Noah that it's never going to work. This is a degenerative disease. She won't remember. And he just goes, watch me. Yeah. Love is stronger than dementia. <laughs> he, said love, he said love is, uh, or something about science something and God. God. Yeah. yeah. He was just like, we're sci where science uh, can't finish, there's God or something like that. Well, don't give me your Christian bullshit, Noah. <laughs> Get out of here. But the moment, like. It's probably, I, a, a, it's probably a poem that he's yeah. quoting. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, so romantic. I, uh, you know, you. St I saw this twist coming eight thousand miles away, yeah. and I go, I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna feel anything. And then she remembers, yeah. and he. She says, "How long do we have?" And he goes, "Last time it was five minutes." Yeah. And I'm fucking crying <sighs> here in the office. I'm finishing it here in the office, and there's a big glass window, and like everyone's sitting outside. I'm like, "Fuck, don't fucking cry." But yeah. he just wants even five, five minutes. minutes. He, it's, is, he will do whatever it takes. Imagine, though, wouldn't you right now with yes. Maggie and Sequoia? Don't yeah. answer that. I'm assuming the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, but, of like, course. I think about like my parents or like my sister. Like you do that for love. And even the kids are like, Dad, come home. Like, blah, 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 blah. He is home. Do you know why? Because that's the house that's he built. Home. Yeah. The nursing home is the house he built, Zachary. I did know. I put that together. I love that. Oh, it was? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that it was like on the outside, it was it looked similar, and I was like, oh, well, I mean, he that said, happens all the time. I'm going to turn it in to help other people, too. Wow. So sweet. Oof. Are y'all ready for? No. No? <laughs> I want to talk about this forever. Every line. Damn. So in the third act. No, no, no. Go, go, go. 
Let's hit some fun facts. I, fun I'm like facts. truly breathless. Yeah. yeah. It's I'm I'm like exhausted. Stunning. Yeah. That's a stunning piece of art. The fact that it's on a uh, fifty percent on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes I, again, it I, feels oh, misogynistic. It feels misogynistic. It, it feels like they're, again, going back to things that predate Rotten Tomatoes and then reading the bad reviews. The good reviews is bad and 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 sending the, the rating down. I also have to imagine that because this movie has been memed so much, like the what do you want? If you're a bird, I'm a bird. I bet you trolls just went and behaved accordingly. Well, no, I went, so I went and looked at some of the reviews. So I'm like, how could this have a 50%? That's crazy. And I was looking at the top critics and they just felt that it was trite <gasps> and, you know, down the center and like wasn't taking risks. But to me- That sounds perfect. It, like, yes, this hits all the beats and it is familiar, but it's perfect. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nailing- what it should be, and it is giving you the essential version of it. Yeah. So sure, I've seen a lot of these love stories play out, but not as expertly yeah. and not with their yeah. level of chemistry and their performance. I don't think that the script is special. I'm skipping mm -hmm. forward to the next section. <laughs> I, I don't think that this script is special, mm -hmm. but their love story is timeless and their their chemistry, It's this is a pleasure. Yeah. And I... I am dumbfounded yeah. that anyone could look at this and say that this is a fifty yeah. percent. This is a good fucking movie. Yeah. Hundred. I agree. It's I a mean, pleasure. we don't we don't have to say. I, you summed it up yeah. beautifully. We we plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Let me give you some fun facts. Yeah. Because I, us. it is impossible for me to imagine this film with anyone. It doesn't work. Else, because they, they wouldn't really be in love. Yeah. Who could have been? They were looking at Ashley Judd. Nope. No. no. Jessica Biel. No. Forget no it. No way. Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Right. Die. Get out of here. Reese Witherspoon. Mm -mm. No. But best of all, Britney Spears auditioned. Okay. Good for her. <gasps> if this was post Crossroads, I'm in. No. Uh, it would have <laughs> been. Yeah. I, I, I'm not. And uh, the audition footage was put on eBay. And sold for one million dollars. I've seen it. She, seen she's it. doing the she's doing the crying scene. It's not that simple. Yeah, Britney Spears. No, McAdams. Oh, oh, you're talking about Britney Spears. Britney's <gasps> audition footage sold for one million dollars. Is that it person, public? Has that anyone person, shown it? I mean, it? they wouldn't pay a million dollars if it was public. I can't imagine if someone paid a million dollars that it's probably her. Um. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, she bought she's it, like, but, I don't want anyone to see this shit. Uh, this is so hilarious. Director Nick Cassavetes wanted someone unknown and, quote, not handsome for the role of Noah, which is why he cast Ryan Gosling. Aww. Damn. Okay, so the, the, the big thing with Gosling is that his face is a little weird. He's a little weird. He's a little weird, but it but he's works. He's so beautiful. It's a, what, what a stunning man because of his flaws. <laughs> This is interesting. They, uh, the after seven years scenes were the ones that were shot first. Of course they were. Then the whole cast and crew went on a Christmas vacation, at which point the goose had to lose the beard and 20 pounds. Lose the weight. I was going to say that. I was like, whoa, he looks way bigger. Like, yeah. how did they do that? And then I've, you know, you just think, it's like, oh, it's probably easier to lose the weight than it is to gain a, a grown man's physique. <laughs> Huh. And that's interesting. So they have kind of this unsure feeling around each other wow. in the Having seven years that, later, yeah. which kind of m matches the story. And then by the time you get to when they first met, they just have this chemistry that is dialed in. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a really good choice uh, yeah. on their part. Um, okay, the role of Finn, the best friend, played by Kevin Connolly from Entourage, who we didn't talk about good in the movie, has a hilariously quick death. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just... Yeah. I thought... I thought his legs got blown off or something like that, uh -huh. and he just dies. That's E from... From Entourage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they he considered looks... both uh, Adam Sandler and Rob Schneider for the role. Hilarious. Uh, and they hilarious. were like, we're going to do Waterboy. Yeah. So to improve the relationship between the leads, Water director... Boys. Okay, Nick Cassavetti sounds like he fucking crushed this. He staged an intervention between the two actors. He brought them into a room where they could air all their grievances out that they had with each other and work something out. They patched up all their differences and soon enough became a real life couple. Oh, okay. I believe it. That's great. That's great. Um, this movie, sorry, came out the same year as 50 First Dates, which I believe is a similar story yeah. to- I was thinking uh, about 50 First Dates the whole time. Yeah. The ending of the, 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 they have the same ending. They have the same ending. 
They have the same. I mean, they didn't die in bed together, but at the same time, it is a, it is fully the same setup and story. Um, and the fact that Adam Sandler did this, <laughs> did Fifty First Dates over this, is very funny to me. Wow. So uh, we've all decided that this movie is a pleasure, yep. which means it's time for my pleasure. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Other things we're enjoying in media, and we're all also going to pick Jury Duty. Jury yeah, Duty. Yeah, on Freebie. Yeah, with which our boy is James, Amazon Prime. Amazon is Prime. Free. Amazon App. Primes, uh, it's like a, it's Amazon Prime, IMDb TV, it's and so their weird. streamer is Freebie. That's insane. So it, Jury Duty understand. is like if The Office or Abbott Elementary were about Jury Duty, yeah. but the catch is it's filmed for real and only one person doesn't know that it's scripted. Yeah. <laughs> and that one person is the sweetest man of all time. Truly, <sighs> truly, they like, they... They, they knocked it, it out of the yeah. park. They knocked it out of the park by finding this dude. Diamond by, in the rough. By just diamond in the rough, truly, of just finding someone who doesn't know about, like, TV or film, really. He's just, like, some, you know, natural uh, film watcher, natural media watcher. And he's just like, oh, yeah, I, I recognize James Marsden, who's next to me from um, Sex Drive, he said. <laughs> but you just you just watch him... Do go through jury duty in like a really nice and beautiful way. It's just, and and he just like accepts things as they go. Of course, they keep throwing really really weird things at him, and he's just like, well, I mean, hey, this is um this is interesting. We're jumping on the bed. I would watch seven hundred shows with this same format. Yeah, and we had talked about once uh, on this podcast. One of our pleasures was Paul T. Goodman, Gold, Goldman, yeah. Gold, Good, Goldman on uh, Peacock, mm-hmm. and if you like that, you will fucking love, love this. Yeah, and well, it's just it's. I mean, it's created by Lee Eisenberg and Gene Stepinski, who wrote on The Office. It has that yes. energy, but it's just such a fresh take on it. It's also directed by Jake Zemanski, who is a, a someone I adore. Has always been really nice to me in real life, and I did not know he directed it until after I watched. And I'm just very excited and happy yeah. for Jake because. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking good dude. I yeah. actually thought about you for this show. I kept being like, Garrick would have been fucking perfect as one of the actors because you would have crushed it. I would have been so happy if, oh. if anybody like hit my line for this type of weirdness. Well, what's crazy, so James, and while we're talking about it, is, the reason we're talking about it as well is because James Marsden plays himself yeah. in this show yeah. uh, and is a larger than life, uh, super arrogant version of himself. Super funny. Um, but what's crazy, I don't know if you saw this interview he gave where any as they were filming it, any time that Ronald was on to them, they would then just go into filming super fucking boring normal jury duty yes. for five yeah. hours. Yeah. So they'd be filming the show, and James Marsden's like, "Man, this is gonna suck." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, but it was just all part of the ruse to yeah. get the footage they needed. And my favorite really cool. is the finale, and I won't spoil any of it. But like the the way that they did the finale, and that had me grinning so hard that like. That was some of my favorite TV because I had never seen like the behind the scenes process like that. And that was also I've, something new and interesting to TV I'd never seen. Yeah, please don't tell me I haven't seen it yet. Oh my God. I didn't finish it. How far in are you? I'm like four or five episodes in. Oh it's, my God. I, you gotta I, finish I it tonight. God. And I love it. Whew. Well, gang, uh, McAdams Mania is just beginning. <laughs> if you have not seen Game Night, do yourself a favor, watch it before next week. You will thank us later. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm fucking amped guys McAdams. how would that be profitable for frito-lay anyway sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm at corn on all things i'm at kelsey on all the things i'm at garib grenard on all the things and until next time dear listeners if you're a bird we're birds <laughs>